Welcome to another episode of Racing to Learn. We are a nonprofit that gets kids excited about math and science. We've got a couple of our RC trucks on the bench today, oh, and a buggy. We are, as usually, we've got a backlog of, of projects in the hopper. Um, pardon the bench here. We're just trying to get everything ready for hopefully a run. <laughs> tomorrow uh, just to go over some of the, the projects we've got in play here this is the SET the Techno SET 410.3 short course truck that we've uh, turned into a, a monster truck with uh, just bigger shocks from the the NT48 these are the the front shocks on the rear of the, the front shocks off of the truggy put onto the um, the rear of our truck here, we, we put on larger 2.8 inch Proline Trencher tires. Uh, we're, we're considering putting this cage onto it. Uh, this this is a cage off of a, a, a Revo, a Traxxas Revo, or built for a Traxxas Revo, not off of one, but this, uh, you know, we, we've got a couple of Revo brushless conversions. Uh, this is one of the cages. Uh, we're, we're just mocking it up for fitment here. Uh, considering running a cage, uh, let us know what you guys think. If you've run cages like this, um, you know, we, we tried running this on, on one of, um, it was our low C XXL2E, but, um, you know, just, just a lot, I think it was just, you know, a lot, a lot of weight up top because of the, the steel that m many of these cages are made of. Um, I don't, uh, I think we have an aluminum one for, um, one of our HPIs, but, uh, anyways, Puts a lot of weight up top, raises the center of gravity, not the best for handling because it causes the, the truck to sway back and forth with that added weight up top. Uh, anyways, we've got this on the bench because we were kind of considering that cage again. And also, um, we are kind of reevaluating this. You know, we've got, we've got uh, uh, some work to do on here. You, you, you'll notice there's one mud guard that we made. We need to make the one for the other side or finish making it. Um, also, the the servo, we're running a Savox SC1258G, or TG, sorry. The, the, the lettering is rubbed off there. But um, we're going to put something similar onto one of our other trucks, the... Proline Pro MT 4x4. Well, I can't talk today. The Proline Pro MT 4x4 110 scale monster truck. You'll notice that we're missing a servo. We burned out another servo on this. Um, it was just a cheapy, you know, Tower Pro 996R that we got off of uh, Amazon. But we thought it might be due to the binding, to, due to binding in the steering. That's that's what killed our original Arma servo that um, that we threw into this truck. Um, you can hear some squeaking. Um, I, I, I narrowed that down just to the, um, the the pivot ball joints here, and it might be because we've raised the suspension, so it's it's kind of bottoming out in terms of the suspense, suspension travel. Um, there aren't any droop screws under here like uh, like we have on the SCT, right? They're they're actually these uh, metal uh, wings on the chassis there that. You can adjust how far the suspension can travel downwards through a screw up top here, a hex head screw here and here, right? So that, that limits how much that, sus that suspension arm can go down, uh, which is good for situations like this. Wish we had those um, on the, the Pro MT. It would really make it more of a, you know, a, a, a race truck, if you will. You know, this, this has its... Um, brother the pro fusion um sc we're, we're considering getting one of those uh i'm i'm curious to see if it has the droop screws i i could just look at the manual online to to see the the breakdown there but anyways we've we've got this truck on the bench because we're going to grab you know back to that uh that savox se 1258 tg server that we have uh on our techno set uh, we've got a similar one on our um, on our team associated B6 here. This is a little bit dirty, but it hasn't seen much use 
for quite a long time. Uh, we're actually looking at selling this. Um, have had it on Craigslist for a while, but nobody's really bit, probably because uh, Associated has released the B66, uh, the B6.1. Um, you know, so that, that was a couple months back. And also they, they recently came out with a, a new four wheel drive buggy, the B74. So probably uh, everybody's who, who loves team associated buggies is spending their money there. So anyways, um, we're, we're going to borrow the servo off of this buggy because it hasn't seen much use recently. Um, we might just end up selling this as a roller. It's pretty heavily upgraded, you know, shock towers and every carbon fiber, um, you know, a whole bunch of upgrades on this aluminum upgrades, etc. But, uh, you guys can check out all of the playlists for our various vehicles in the video description. Uh, or also under the channel description. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, grab the servo off of this truck. You know, not not a huge uh, operation here, but uh, just to let you guys know, uh, that's that's what we're gonna do next here on the channel. Um, we were considering grabbing the other Savox servo, or off of this guy. This is our Thunder Tiger. You know. Um, Thunder Tiger actually owns Team Associated. They've um, they've kind of stopped doing their own trucks here, um, kind of letting uh, Team Associated carry the torch there. But uh, this is the Thunder Tiger uh, MT4G3. It's kind of a, a legendary basher's truck, kind of the Arma before the Arma Creighton before the Arma Creighton. <laughs> but um, uh, we've we've got the Savox SC. 1256 TG versus 1258 on the other two trucks there. Oh, I, I forgot to mention that this is actually the black edition too, so it's a little bit faster that we've got on the um, uh, the team associated B6. So anyways, we were, we were thinking about grabbing the servo off of this truck, but actually we want to get this truck back up and running, so we're not going to pillage it. Um, this truck just needs a little bit of work on the, the front differential, or a lot of work. <laughs> so let us know what you guys think in the comments like comment subscribe and thanks again for watching we will catch you next time